Are you tired of your particles not having enough mass? Trinu Higgs boson, super wave protein powder, adds punch to your protons and neutrons. Now available in strawberry. Since the dawn of man, people have sought to understand what we are and what the world is. Why are we here? How do things work? What's this rock made of? Scientists have been able to answer some of these questions through careful observation. But not everything can be seen and understood with just the naked eye. In order to gain a better understanding of our universe, scientists built an underground facility beneath France and Switzerland called the Large Hadron Collider, where particles are shot through a tunnel at near impossible speeds and collide so scientists can analyze how they behave. And this tunnel isn't small either. It's over 16 miles all the way across! That's huge! Now these particles are traveling really close to the speed of light. Light moves at about 300 million meters per second, or 671 million miles per hour. That's just a jog away from light speed. And the way they reach these speeds is with magnets. At the LHC's facilities, they use magnets to propel particles through the tunnel. Huge magnets are cooled to under minus 450 Fahrenheit or minus 270 Celsius. That's colder than outer space. These supercooled magnets are much more efficient than warm ones and hardly lose any energy to external forces. So they can focus all their power on a single particle. This way the particle can go around and 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 around. Whew. Cool, right? The Large Hadron Collider uses magnets to move things around. Here's how you can make your own magnet-powered train at home. All you need is a battery, some rare earth magnets, some copper wire from your local hardware store, and a wooden dowel, but a wooden spoon will do. Start out by splitting your stack of batteries, and be sure to have a parent with you for this, just in case. You attach one end, one end of the battery, and the other stack of batteries to the opposite end. This will be your new train. Now begin carefully wrapping the copper wire around your spoon. Be sure to keep it nice and tight. In the end, your train track should look about like this. Now you're ready to insert your train, and don't worry if it doesn't work the first try. Just try taking it out, flipping around the train, and trying again. Boom. Science. And there you go. Now you have your tiny train that runs on the power of magnets. So far with the LHC, we found new arrangements of tiny particles called quarks, and evidence of a particle called the Higgs boson, which gives protons and neutrons their mass. We're still looking to find ways we can break the fundamental laws of our universe. Because that's really the only way we have to test them. Anyways, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Scientists have been able to answer some of these questions through careful song. Careful song. Scientists have been able to answer some of these questions through careful song. Cutting. That's huge! Now these particles are traveling really close to the speed of light. Light moves at about 300 million meters per second, or 671. No, you ran right into me. Yeah. In order to better understand...